Good morning, guys. Today I'm going to be working on two pork shoulders or pork butts. And one of them I'm going to make into just a spicy pork in broth. And the other one I'm going to be making into a pork stew from one of the Amish cookbooks I have. But starting that process off for both of them is going to be the same. So this will be the beginning of both those videos. So stay with me as I take you through. Thanks. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is just rinse all that bloody film that's on the meat off where it's been setting in the package. I just like to get it good and rinse before I start my process. Alright. So I've got that done and I'm going to let it drain a little bit and then I'm going to put it over here on my cutting board. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is just cut some of our meat off so we can start chunking it up. Now your Boston butts have a lot more fat on them. Slide that to the side a little bit. So I'm just going to do these in about one half, one and a half inch chunks. Cutting off the biggest of the fat. And we're going to save that to render for lard. You're not going to get all the fat off of these because like I said, it is a fattier cut of meat. But you can cut out a lot of it. I'm just cutting the worst of it off. That's mainly just the stringy fat, so I'm not going to worry with that. just going to keep doing this until we get all of this cut up. Um, I have a scrap bowl, a bowl for my fat that I'm going to render, and then for the pork that I'm using. So I'm just going to keep working on this until I get them all cut up. And once I get it all cut, processed, I'll bring you back and let you see what I've got left. Okay, I had two bones left, this little bit of scraps, and like a Probably a gallon bowl. This is the fat and another probably little gallon, a little bit larger bowl. And then this is the dish pan, wash pan of the two pork butts. So I'm going to go get my pans and some olive oil. And we're going to roast this pork in the oven. Okay, I've got part, about half of the meat on these two <coughs> cookie sheets. I'm going to put sprinkle some pink Himalayan salt on it. Not a whole lot because pork's got a little saltiness to it anyway. Then I'm just going to sprinkle a little black pepper. And we're going to drizzle with some oil. And, I, and this is avocado oil. And we're just going to mix it all up. And then we'll spread it back out again. Let me 
Make sure all of it's coated. Got some salt and pepper and oil on it. I'm going to put these in a 450 degree oven for 30 minutes. This is the cookbook I'm using to make the pork stew. It's the Amish canning cookbook. I'm using the recipe on page 195. So I, while the pork's cooking and roasting in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and get my carrot, celery, onions, and potatoes prepared. Okay, the recipe calls for two quarts of carrots. I have one and about a third quart and two handfuls of dehydrated carrots. I have two plus cups of celery. It calls for three. And I have three cups of onions. And we have three quarts of potatoes. And we're gonna cover this with water Bring it to a bowl and simmer for two minutes, then we'll drain the vegetables. Here's the pork after it was cooked. Got all the veggies, they were underwater. I just mixed them all up and we're gonna let them come to a bowl and then let them boil for two minutes. Okay, at this point, the veggies are boiling. Um, and it says to drain vegetables and add them in a pot with the meat and then add seasonings. Well, I'm not going to do it that way because I want an equal amount of meat in each one of my jars. So I'm going to do the jars, the meat in the jars evenly. And then I'll add the seasonings to the vegetables um, in a different process. But I'm just going to evenly distribute this. I'm going to start with a cup for each jar to start with. Whatever little drippings are there, just give it a little more flavor. So I'm going to wait for the veggies to finish. They should be done in just a few minutes and we'll be ready. Okay, the vegetables are done. Okay, I added in two teaspoons of thyme. You can do one to two and I did one and a half tablespoons of salt and I did the pink Himalayan and I'm also going to add in about a half a teaspoon of pepper. We'll get the pepper mixed in like the other two. Kind of 
kind of excited to try this. I've never done one like this before, so we'll have to see how it turns out. All right. So we're going to add the vegetables. I'm just going to get them up. A cup at a time. And I'm gonna keep doing my veggies till I get them all about like this jar here. I want them right at that one inch space. So I'm gonna wait my I'll bring you back when I get them all to the level I want them. Okay, I heated up three quarts of ham stock. We're just going to fill our jars to our one inch head space. I may have to open and heat up another jar. We'll see how this goes. You can do water, it says, but I had the ham stock I'd made, so I thought I'd use it. It would just give it another depth of flavor. Close. Okay, now I'm going to go through and debubble. And we'll see if we need to add any 
and I thought we probably would push my veggies back and we'll see where we're at. a couple out of it too probably okay now I'm gonna take set this out of the way and we're gonna clean our rims all right we're just gonna clean all the rims because we've got this pork get all the oil off we can that one or not so I'm gonna wipe over it again if I did. Alright and I just got a little vinegar white vinegar in a baby food jar that I can not have to have a big container. Then we're gonna add our lids. That's our older lid. We'll hope it works. All right, we got all our lids on, and we're just going to do our rings finger tight, and this one's not, that lid, that ring's not, I'll lay it to the side, and I will throw that one away because it didn't want to work right. Finger tight. Finger tight. Finger tight. Finger tight. Well, I thought I had, I gotta get one more. And then our big wide mouth. All right, I'm gonna put these in the canner and I'll bring you back. Okay, they're in the canner. And I'm gonna lock it down each side, let it vent for 10 minutes, and then we'll put our weight on and it'll process for 90 minutes. All right, it's been 10 minutes. We're gonna put our weight on and we'll wait for it to come up to pressure. All right, the pork stew is done. It's pressure's down. I'm gonna take the 
There we go. Here they are all out. That one's boiling like crazy. Okay, guys. That's the pork stew. This one, where it's boiling so crazy, it's probably going to be the one. And there's another one back in the back. They're the, probably the two that boiled over a little bit. Um, they're just boiling so fast. And you can see the vegetables up here. But they should seal. If they don't, we'll have supper tomorrow night. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video.